Download from the BBC of Dr Carl's Science Phone-In, which is broadcast as part of the Up All Night programme on 5 Live from 3am to 4am on Thursday mornings. Here's the latest edition. I'm delighted to greet Dr Carl, who joins us from the studios of the ABC in Sydney. Hello, Dr Carl. Hello, Dr Rod, and the weather here has been... Yeah, Absolutely. So it swings and rounds about. There's a bit of a good effect, a bit of a bad effect. But overall, there seems to be a very, very strong belief among the climate scientists that, uh, yes, carbon dioxide is causing the global warming thing. Right. Let me then bring in, if I may, Anthony from Leeds, uh, who would probably like to embroider on that a little bit. Hello, Anthony. Anthony, Hello? come on down. Hi. Uh, it's about... Uh, I- this, uh, you know, what percentage really is um, global warming a natural cycle or helped by human being, you know? I believe that it might be just um, a percentage man-made and percentage uh, a cycle, a natural cycle. Am I right? Um, Well, okay, probably not, but let me explain the natural cycle. While we humans have been on the planet, call it the last three million years, the normal state of affairs is, or the normal weather, the normal climate, is that we have an ice age. That is normal. That has been normal over the last three million years. Look up Milankovitch effect, M-I-L-A-N-K-O-V-I-T-C-H, I I think, Milankovitch effect. So you have 100,000 years of ice age, and then 10,000 years, 20,000 years of non-ice age. During an ice age, the ice is one kilometre thick over New York and Germany, and there's ice all over the planet. And the water to make this ice has to come out of the ocean, and the ocean level drops by 100, 125 metres. This is the normal state of affairs, that you can walk from the British Isles to Europe that you can walk from Australia to Tasmania, from the Australian mainland to Tasmania, and Ireland hop from Tasmania across to Indonesia. This is the normal state of affairs. How And the carbon dioxide levels have been going up and down. The carbon dioxide levels at the moment are the highest that they have been in the last 650,000 years. They are rising faster than they have at any time in the last 3 million years. Yes, there is a natural variation in the climate, but we are causing an extra variation on top of that. The amount of carbon dioxide that we have thrown into the atmosphere has taken the levels from 280 parts per million to 380 parts per million. And so that's a difference of 100 parts per million or one part per 10,000. And people have said, but come on, how can one part in 10,000 possibly have any effect whatsoever. Well, if we pick a moderately large male, they weigh 100 kilograms, which is 100,000 grams. So one part per 10,000 of that is 10 grams. If you were to give that person one part in 10,000 of morphine, that is to say 10 grams of morphine, they would be dead before you finished pressing on the syringe needle. In fact, the dose of morphine would be, say, 5 milligrams, 10 milligrams to remove pain. So that's, so you can see that the argument that is given that the change in carbon dioxide level is only one part in 10,000 is so minuscule it can't possibly have any effect. That, that's a ridiculous argument. Look at your car. You can get some nails that are very light and put them up against the tyres of your car and then drive off and get a flat tyre before you've done two rotations. And once again, the nails weigh less than one part in 10,000 of the car. It's very easy to to derail a complicated machine with very small forces if they are put at exactly the right place. 